these distinguished leaders understand that health insurance reform isn't a Democratic issue or a Republican issue, but an American issue that demands a solution. For 30 years, Loretta has distinguished herself as a tough, fair, and independent attorney. I am here to announce today the distinguished public servant I'm appointing as our nation's new ambassador to the People's Republic of China. Vice Admiral Fowler and faculty, distinguished guests, parents, family, and friends, the Brigade of Midshipmen, and most importantly, the graduates of the class of 2009. Sotomayor is a distinguished graduate of two of America's leading universities. Thanks also to Susan Eisenhower, whose grandfather began this mission 65 years ago with a simple charge. Okay, let's go. And to a World War II veteran who returned home from this war to serve a proud and distinguished career as a United States Senator and a national leader, Bob Dole. Though I can't be with you in person, I am proud that the United States is represented there today by a delegation of distinguished Americans, including Ambassador Feinstein, my wife Michelle's Chief of Staff, Susan Schur, and my good friend and the son of Holocaust survivors, Julius Janikowski. Justice Stevens has courageously served his country from the moment he enlisted the day before Pearl Harbor to his long and distinguished tenure on the Supreme Court. Mr. Ambassador, all of us were shocked and deeply saddened by the devastating loss of President Kaczynski, uh, the First Lady, and so many distinguished civilian and military leaders from your country. Is this the moment where you pitch yourself? <laughs> um, thank you, Mr. President, um, Secretary Duncan, um, Dr. Biden, and all of the distinguished guests here today. Um, Let me also recognize FOP Auxiliary President Beverly Crump, members of the FOP Auxiliary, and members of Congress and my administration, including Attorney General Eric Holder and distinguished guests who are here today. Director of two critical organizations the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency and the Defense Intelligence Agency. And during a distinguished career in the Air Force, Jim developed an intimate understanding of our human and technical collection programs.